we make it out of here tonight with oh. a storm coming. So do I. Oh. Okay. I'm glad I got the limo for the whole day because you can't be driving like this. No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Oh, yeah, other than being a little accident prone, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, well, Matthew and I gotta have to get to the church. Singer's got some kind of issue. Oh, God, it's probably that thing, James, at work. And just tell her that I don't, doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. I just, it's her voice I want to hear when we get married. Yeah. The next thing I see is you walking down the aisle, you're going to be looking right at me. <laughs> like, it's going to be perfect, isn't it? Yeah. If you're going to be there, hell yeah. Um, can I hitch a ride with you? i got to go home and get ready. Oh, yeah, I'll have the driver drop you off. All right, we'll see you guys later. Dad, I got the rings. Okay, I got the monkey suits. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. I, I, I love you. Oh, okay. Let me see. There we go. Wedding dress. I got that. Uh, what else do I need? Shoes. Shoes. You're right. Hey, I heard you and Mr. B cut a mean rug. Oh, you have no idea. You just wait and see. The things that... Oh, oh, no. oh God. Rain check on the swimming. Why? Because it's going to rain? <laughs> kind of. Well, that's when it's the most fun. Don't be scared. Who says I'm scared? Then why won't you come? Because I have a date. With Matthew, I'm going to his parents' wedding. Oh. So things are good with you two? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. What's up? Is Matthew mad at you or something? God, just the opposite. He told me he loves me. Did you say it back? I got the feeling from that wedding singer that something was wrong. Oh, my God, what is that smell? Oh, what? Oh. That smell couldn't be... Justin and his dad are here to pick me up. Okay, have fun at Tyler's birthday party, sweetie. Rock on, dude. I'm really glad you guys are back. And Dad, congrats on the family thing. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> see you guys later. Wait, I mean, I'll see you later, but you have to go back to your old place, don't you? We can hang out all you want tomorrow, if you're not too busy. I'll clear my schedule. <laughs> That's some kid we got. Yeah, he's, he's smart, funny, law-abiding. I can't believe you almost told him we broke into that store. Uh, sorry, I wasn't thinking. No kidding. Well, it's not like we were trying to steal anything. Yeah, we got arrested and thrown in jail. It was an adventure. Yeah, I'll show you an adventure. Hey. hey. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Thank you, Marasco. For what? For just coming with me. Making me keep going when I was frustrated. For everything. If it were anyone else's wedding, I wouldn't think twice about skipping it. Not really your thing. Weddings? No. But, um, it's Bo. Um, Bo's got something to celebrate. I mean, aside from dodging a date with the Grim Reaper a few months back when he took that bullet for Rex. Not this time. And he managed to make it back together with Nora. Mm. Same as I did with Jess. Same as you did with Natalie. And you wouldn't even think about standing Natalie up if you'd seen her the other night when you didn't show her roadies. You saw her that night? You do, too, know everything. You know, there's a whole chunk missing out of Jessica's story, but I don't take it personal. Well, I tell you what, let's just appreciate that we are where we are and we have what we have because, frankly, if someone had told me a few days ago that both my girls would be happy and healthy by the time Bo and Nora got married, I'm not sure I'd believe them. I feel like there's something magical about this wedding already. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nothing but good stuff ahead. No doubt about that. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, man. Nora was 
so happy about all these flowers. Oh, Mr. Buchanan, I'm uh, so happy you're here. Yeah, I, what happened? I, that smell, that's not what Skunk. I... Skunk! Guess it's gonna rain. Yeah, uh, I better get going. I gotta be somewhere. Where? A uh, thing. Rex, you can tell me you're going to Bo and Nora's wedding. Well, I didn't. I don't want to make you feel. They invited me too. Well, I'm really happy for Bo and Nora. Me too. They found their way back to each other. Mm. And I think. No, I know. It's gonna be a really great night. The animal control guys think the skunk got in sometime last night. And, and and no one knew they were in here because the priests were on a retreat. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Andrew Carpenter's in Savannah. He's visiting Cassie and River, but he's flying back here. He was going to marry Nora and me. I got here first thing this morning to rehearse, and when I realized what happened, I called these guys in. They're having a terrible time trying to capture the poor thing. Yeah, I know, I saw that. And smelled it. So one skunk and a, and a few animal control guys, they can cause all that damage? The skunk's frightened. Ah. Oh. Dad, what are we going to do? After I tripped, I, I just didn't want to bother Bo. Bother the guy? The guy's about to become your hunk of hunk of love in the eyes of the Almighty. You know, that's your job to bother No, 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 no. He needed to be at the church. Besides, I had Destiny with me, and she got me into the Greg. And he didn't admit you to the hospital? He said the sprain. A bad one? She burned her cornea, too. Yeah, well. Drops for her eye and an ice pack for her ankle. Okay. I've got to go get ready for the party. I've got a hot day. With the boy that I saw you with at prom? Boy? Oh. I'm an adult now, so. <laughs> oh, how do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Well, he seemed like a real sweetheart. He's cool, so i got to represent. Are you sure you're okay here without me? Yeah, we got her covered. Thank you, Destiny. Really, I'll see you later. Bye. Anything in that bag for my tooth? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, this is a total disaster. No. Nora, Nora, sweetheart, you're going to be beautiful no matter what. And you are going to look so hot in this. When Uncle Bo yeah. sees you in it, he's going to flip. And after I use this magical stuff, nobody's going to be looking at that tooth or your eye or your ankle. Uh, you know, maybe we shouldn't go messing with my hair color on I'm the wedding gonna day. I'm not going to mess your hair. I'm just going to brighten it up a little. Like, look at Natty. I'm kind of like a genius with the reds. Natalie came to say goodbye to me that night. Before or after she saw me kissing Marty? After? Yeah, she told me she stopped off to have a few drinks. Well, I guess she did that, too. Anyway, if there's nothing else, I'm going to go see if Forensics has anything new. Hey, Brody. Thanks for being a good friend to Natalie. Strike that. Forget I asked. It's really none of my business whether or not you told Matthew you love him. I'm going to get going. Get in some swimming before someday a real rain comes and washes all of this scum off the street. What? Taxi driver? De Niro? You've never seen it? Oh, you should. It's a classic. Later. See ya. Uh, don't catch the bouquet at the wedding. Don't even go near it. Look what I found in the janitor's closet. What is that? Super duper deodorizer. It's great. Son, go to work. Uh, now maybe we can get that skunk out of here. Oh, we could change venues. No, 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 no. There's not enough time for that. You know, it's going to start in a few hours. I think the best thing to do is try to start airing this place out. Oh. You know, hopefully the sound of your voice is going to take our guests' minds off all the stink. What? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, honestly, Nora is looking so forward to hearing you sing today. Oh, I promise. I'll do my very... Okay. Are you...
you all right? It's a deodorizer. 